Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your patience as I have been absent for almost a month. I have wet hair, a wrinkly t-shirt, but I just got out of the shower and my voice sounds the best that it has sounded in the last two weeks. Here's Bianca Marie. And so I decided I needed to hurry and jump on here and film this intro. I had every intention of getting this video out a week ago and I filmed some parts of it, but not this part. And then I got so sick, I literally could not speak. And here we are. So it is time to just be real and raw. Happy New Year, happy 2024. We are, I don't even know the date. Today is Martin Luther King Day and hopefully this video goes up tonight. My kids are home from school and it is time to address my struggles and I cannot be alone in this and I'm hoping that you guys will want to stay and go on this journey with me this year in 2024 as I tackle my death pile, uh, my bad reseller habits and just kind of charge forward. And I am putting this out here because number one, it's going to hold me accountable. Number two, I can't be the only one. I have been encouraged by watching a lot of decluttering videos and um, my kids were home over the break. They kind of had a weird, they didn't go back to school until like January 9th or 10th. So they had like that week in January off instead of the week before Christmas. So Michael and I started purging, starting with one cabinet at a time. And I just, I, I oof, it's time to tackle this. You'll see why here in a minute as I take you and show you. Let me back up a little bit. Hi, if you're new here, I call myself a part-time reseller. I do have other streams of income. I do have a from home business that I've had for over a decade that, you know, kind of is just on the back burner these days. Michael is running his own business and doing his own thing. And 2023 was just a very weird year for us. I have a seventh grade, a middle schooler boy. Um, love him. You guys have met him. He's so sweet, but kind of tackling this new season of motherhood. I have a fifth grade girl who is almost 11. And so dealing and navigating with the whole preteen hormone, you know, younger eight-year-old, third grade sister, you know, it's just, it's been wild. And I've tried to be very present for that. Also, we moved into this house in June of 2020. We still had boxes that were not unpacked. And so, you know, I spent a lot of last year trying to grow my channel, which I did have a little bit of growth, so, so thank you. But, you know, I just could never stick with being consistent. I found myself going to the bins, going to Goodwill, trying, you know, having thread up boxes coming, just trying to continue having content. But here's what I wasn't doing. I wasn't listing inventory in my death pile. Money pile was growing and growing and growing. And, you know, maybe a lot of you don't have that problem because you don't have a YouTube channel, but it's not like YouTube is paying any of my bills, maybe my cell phone bill. <laughs> but I just enjoy the online presence and the company and the friendships that I've made. I've made some amazing friends here in the YouTube community and I love teaching and um, it's just, I love it. But I was spending my money and buying inventory and bringing inventory into my home, which while my home is like 4,000 square feet, I just was starting to feel caved in and my inventory was taking over my master bedroom. My office was starting to explode. I used to be able to close the door. And then um, I walked out into our garage one day and just really started to take note of how much inventory I had. This was around Halloween, so October, and I hit a wall. I know this is a long intro, but this is the beginning of what's going to be a wonderful series together, so hopefully you don't mind my explanation. So anyway, around Halloween, I just hit a reseller wall, and I realized I was walking a very fine line between being a reseller and being a hoarder. Now, I wasn't spending that much money because I was doing a lot of bins trips and then doing a lot of buy, sell trading. And, you know, so it wasn't that, but I just wasn't listing anything. And thank goodness for Posture VA, little shameless plug, but that's the only thing that carried me through the month of November and December. I was still making very consistent sales on Poshmark because I have it set up to relist and delist items every single day, sharing my closet every day. So I actually had an okay November and December only on Poshmark, my kid is in a Mercari kind of failed, a couple eBay sales here and there, but I just was not motivated. I was just feeling so caved in by this inventory and I have good stuff. I mean, I found a tote full of Lululemon. 
that's just been sitting in my garage unlisted for probably two years. So that brings me to 2024. I had a moment with myself where I just had to be honest and say, okay, are you a part-time reseller? Are you a full-time reseller? I suppose I called myself part-time because I have other jobs and other means of income coming in, but I cannot, I, I cannot tell you the last time I put in an eight hour day. And to me, if you're going to call yourself a full-time reseller, you better act like one and be putting in what 40 hours a week is technically full-time. Yeah. In my mind. Okay. Maybe whatever that's up for debate but for me if i don't clock in to my job and actually work it not sit on the couch and watch youtube not go thrifting sure sourcing is part of it but that can't be your only part okay so here we are hi friends this is my plan um if you are here at my channel and you just are only here because i do thread up unboxings i am a thread up ambassador at the moment i'm shocked they haven't kicked me off because i'm pretty sure i missed two of my months Basically, they give me 25 bucks a month and I have to make a post on Instagram once a month about thread up. Pretty sure I missed a month or two. But I will still reward myself with a fun box or maybe a 200 pound box at some point. I do have some videos in my phone already recorded. I, I recorded a fun box, couldn't put it out for you because I didn't record the intro or the outro. Um, so you will still see those, I promise you. And once we get through this project, <laughs> I will hopefully be able to get back to ordering more things and doing the things that bring me joy. Now, am I going to stop sourcing? No, hear me out. I am a very much a rewards driven person. Uh, you know, do this, earn this. This is just how my brain works. It's how I have moved up in companies. That's how I, it's just, it's what I do. So my goal with myself now, I feel like today is like what the, I don't even know what is today's date. I'm using my phone, so I can't tell this. Alexa, what is today's date? Today is Monday, January 15th. 15th. Okay, good. I thought it was like the right. 19th. I can tell you interesting history facts every morning. <laughs> no, thank you. Enable this routine? No, no, thank you. <laughs> no problem. Um, she can tell me history facts every morning. Okay, so we are two weeks into January and I have spent the entire two weeks sick and I have accomplished nothing. So for me, today is January 1st and I'm going to take you on a tour. Um, I've already done this and the good news is my room is now spotless. It is back to being my retreat, my happy place. But I'm gonna show you just how much unlisted inventory I have. And um, we picked a bin and I'm going to cut away, show you. We're gonna empty this bin and one bin at a time, I am going to go through, probably not all of them, okay? And we're not gonna do them all on film, but there are things in this bin that I probably have no business keeping to list. It's not worth my time. Now you could debate, could I make $2? $2 adds up, of course. But when you see how much inventory I have, it is costing me time to store it and stress about it. And it's costing me mental health time. So some of it's just gotta go. I've gotta get some of it listed. I'm going to, um, at the very least be investing two out of the Monday through Friday work days to taking photos because I've got to get it done. And here's my reward for every $500 in net sales, not gross, because the way my spreadsheet works, my gross sales, like on eBay, it includes shipping on Kitizen. It includes shipping, but Poshmark does not, you know, so I'm just going to be looking at my net sales, um, not my profit because that's subjective. Anyway, net sales, $500. I can take a trip to the bins and share that with you here on YouTube. And so for the next couple of weeks, we are going to do this type of video. I'm not gonna have this long-winded intro. We're gonna go through a box of my inventory, decide what we're gonna list, and I'm gonna get that stuff listed. And I'm going to be doing what sold videos um, because hopefully the more I list, the more I'm selling and I have a at least a 15 minute video to share with you what has sold. I feel what sold videos aren't always my most viewed, but they are the most helpful because I could go back and share with you what sold in October, November, December, but I, as a reseller myself, the only videos I have any business watching right now while I'm clearing my time and focusing on working is what's selling. I need to know what's selling. I need to learn new brands so that when I am out thrifting. All right, so here I am, I am back. Hopefully my voice sticks with me. Hopefully I don't get sick again. I only get sick maybe once a year. I hope this was it. We are going to have a very fruitful and profitable 2024. I am speaking that for all of you. 
All right, so cheers. Let's do this. Let's cut. And it is so embarrassing to show you guys the state of these things. Now, my office has been cleaned out since what you're going to see, but I didn't go back in and do a tour because Michael is helping me with some new shelving, some new organization. That'll be a video for another day when I show you my actual processes once we're actually doing them. But just know it has been taken care of. It is now a lot of it is sitting in my dining room, but I have got to face this head on and I have to walk by this pile of clothing on this banquet table that you will see uh, until it's gone. And so that might, that I could get that done in a week if I focus. So let's go show you my death money pile and I'll see you back here in a minute. All right. So we're in my master bedroom. This is a tote of things that I got from a friend that I'm going, a consignment, if you will, that I need to list for her. She knows it's on the back burner. That's a pile of my personal clean clothes that I need to put away. That is a thread up shoe box. I've already unboxed, but haven't done anything yet. There's Miss Bianca Marie. So this is my beautiful shiplap wall in my master bedroom with my beautiful view to our lake that I don't get to enjoy because there's all this crap everywhere. Okay, that bin and these two totes, unlisted inventory. That tote right there and this tote, unlisted inventory. This is my sweaters I am currently purging. This is all the holiday stuff to put away, um, sweaters that I'm putting away. I've already taken a whole trash bag of stuff out to give away. So that's what I've got in terms of reselling that has encroached upon my bedroom. Let's head to my... Oh, wait, I forgot to turn this way. This is my last bins haul, which I've done nothing with and a fun box. That tote is full of, I will say, I, I did go to Goodwill one last time in 2023. And all of these items, I did go ahead and type out and they are inventory. They're not photographed. They're not listed. But that's what that entire tote is. Now let's go to my office. Yeah, so here it is. I can't even close the door. So I've got great stuff. I mean, you've probably seen some of these, these things in hauls. This was a very nicely organized closet of my boxes, but crap has just gotten thrown in. There's two bins hauls. Yep. And a thread up box under there. And more unlisted things. There is my light box, but this is, I can't even walk in here. Um, under here is, that is a, those items are listed. That is a consignment, so I keep them separate. None of this is listed. None of this. Um, yeah, here's where I usually take photos of flat lays. Can't even do it right now. None of this is listed. There's my dog again. This box is listed and this is listed. That needs to go somewhere. But my office is not huge, but it's very practical and functional when I, you know, have it cleaned up. So first thing I'm doing tomorrow, just so I can report back, I am pulling every single thing out of here. And my husband has already gotten me a banquet table. This is my dining room, which is quite clean. You see, we, we I do a lot of videos right here. But he has brought me a banquet table so I can pull. This is stuff that needs to be listed. So I am okay with sacrificing part of my actual nice part of my house because it's going to be a daily visual that I need to get this crap listed. So we are going to walk from here to my garage where we're going to see together just how much unlisted inventory I have. This room is actually clean. That's amazing. So I do have all of my inventory put away. Like I did have a pile. I had a couple of Hulkins full of things that needed to be inventoried and put away. So everything is good right now. All my inventory is put away in its place, but let's see what else I have not listed. Well, while I'm walking by my laundry room, all of these jackets have been laundered. They need to be listed. These four totes, this is style on core Play-Dohs, Once Upon a Child. I'm fine with that. Like I said, I'm always gonna be adding to these and constantly going. Uh, so I have a really nice laundry room, but this right here, this needs to, I don't know what I'm doing with this rolling cart situation. It might just have to come out of here because I do have a built-in and there's no reason for me to have more than that. So the rest of my laundry room looks pretty nice, but yeah, let's go check out the garage. All right, here it is. Ignore the stuff on top. This is all camping stuff. We are currently organizing the rest of our garage. But I've got one, two, three, four, five, ten. 
uh, 11, 12 regular size Rubbermaid totes. Two of these full blue bags, because I see another one that you can't see. It's with my regular personal life stuff. And three of those huge totes on the bottom. So, I have more than I thought of unlisted inventory. Just out here, chilling in my garage. It's been out of sight, out of mind. Um, some of this, I don't even know what's in some of these, to be completely honest. So, we're just going to randomly pick one. And let's see what's in it. And now you guys know, and as we work towards the goal of getting all of this stuff listed, if you are a lucky enough person to have watched this, you will see where I started and can celebrate with me when I'm finally through my true death pile. When I hear people say they have death piles and they show like one tote full, I just laugh. Surely I'm not alone. If you also have a death pile the size of mine, please comment so I don't feel alone. Please don't make fun of me. I'm just being very honest and very vulnerable and it's just time to deal with this. All right, I have decided because Michael isn't here to help me, we're just gonna go with this tote right here. We're gonna move some camping things. I have no idea what's in it. It's dusty, but we're gonna take this inside. Oh, this is a Tommy Hilfiger coat I got a long time ago. Oh, I see some Lily. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is like my personal Lily that I meant I purged last summer out of my own closet. Lily sells. I have an entire tote. We're gonna see what really is in it, but let's do this. It is a gloomy day, but I'm happier to report. My room is now clean. I even cleaned out my closet. I donated two trash bags worth of clothes and it is back to being my happy place. Right, Arlo? Right. My office is now cleaned out. This is the aftermath of that, but that's okay because this is what I'm going to be working on after the things in the tub that we are going to go through. Okay, so I am probably sitting on 3,000 items of unlisted inventory. Maybe that's a stretch. Right now I have about 900 active listings um, and you guys have seen my inventory room. I don't know how many unlisted I have. I'm not gonna count them, but just the sheer amount of bins that I have. Now, you know, this jacket in this bin is taking up you know, a fourth of the bin, so. All right, I'm kind of excited to dive in this bin. Let's see what we've got. This item, you know, if you've been with me, you might remember. I'm pretty sure, yes, this is Tommy Hilfiger. I spent time taking stains out of this. This is from the 90s. Um, I didn't know what to price this at, so I never even listed it. And yeah, so we're going to get this big old thing listed. All right, so what else is in this? So this was, some of this stuff is from my personal closet. Yeah, this is a Wonder Woman, like, onesie situation that was so hot. I wore it on Halloween one year, and, yeah, it's probably not worth a lot, so I don't know. But it's in the tub, so, oh, this I know for sure. Sorry, my dog is being unreasonable today. Not this cutie, my other, my cockapoo. Please stop barking, please. This is a Anthony Richards size 6X. Um, nightgown. I was going to call it a muumuu and that's probably not nice. Is that a nice word? I don't know. I tell my mom all the time she wears muumuus, which is fine. Wear what you're comfy in. But this came in a thread up scrap fabric box probably two years ago at this point because time flies. Why didn't I list this? I mean, so we're not, I'm not going to be hard on myself. We just is what it is. This is a Lily, these Lily Pulitzer items all came out of my personal closet. Because I said to myself, oh, if I sell all of this Lily that I never wear, I can go to the Lily store and treat myself to a new dress, which I did, and then never listed this stuff. So this is a size eight Lily dress. Now this, I ended up, I bought this online and got a refund for it um, because she missed that there was like this huge discolored bleach kind of spot and she told me to keep it and my girls have the matching dresses, but honestly, like it's not super noticeable. People buy Lily items like this to make headbands, this kind of thing. I should still list this. All right, we've got a Lily, two Lily blouses. We've got a, this is actually a Vineyard Vines top. We've got Lily shorts. I'm not gonna go show you guys every little thing, but all of this, Lily shorts, these are all mine. All right, so more shorts, more shorts. More, I mean, I I had a lot of Lily, clearly, and I still do, but none of this fits me. This A lot of this Lily is old. 
it's from years and years ago, but we're talking, I'm still not to the bottom. Dress, excuse me, dresses, more dresses. These are all dresses, all of these. This is a beautiful new with tags dress, $248 retail. I did pay $80 at TJ Maxx, but it's a size four. I have not been a size four. Okay. Um, more dresses, dresses. All right, there's about six more dresses in here. Okay, so this tote is all Lily and Lily sells all year long. Why am I sitting on these things? That's a very good question. So this stuff is going to be one of the first things I get to listing, including this big old jacket. All right, so. Let me know if you guys uh, are even interested in coming along this journey with me. Um, hopefully you don't mind the kind of different videos. You might have seen some of this. you never seen some of those. That was my closet. But um, as we go through the bins, this is all listable things. But I know for sure there's going to be things out there if it's not listable. And, you know, maybe I will do this video a couple more times. Maybe I won't do them anymore at all if you guys say it's a terrible idea. But I do hope you'll stick around. I hope that I can update you as the months go on. Uh, we'll see how quickly I can hit these $500. Um, I haven't even looked to see where I'm at yet because I've been shipping every day. Like right now, it is Martin Luther King Day. I have five packages to go out since the mail came on Saturday afternoon. So that was not, you know. Uh, but it's just old stuff. I have not listed, I don't think I told you guys, I have not listed new items since Halloween. I think I started to tell you, but I didn't. So literally since Halloween, I have listed nothing new. I did relist some things on Kitizen and Mercari. Uh, we've got a kid economy event coming up again. So if you're not on Kitizen, I do have a code down below that will save you $5. If you have a cross, uh, cross posting app, I use the list perfectly, love it. I also have a code for that down below. Um, get your women's and kids items listed over on Kitizen. You can join, it's a free event. I think signups are on January 21st. And it just means that you agree to buy at least one item during the time frame. If you're interested in joining, um, send me a message over on Instagram and we can go from there and I can tag you in the info post. It's a grassroots event that's been going on since like 2018 that we do a couple times a year to kind of stimulate the economy over there. But um, these things are a focus and any kids items that I have that I find easily accessible, things that just came out of my office, I'm going to get those things listed first since kid is in is kind of where kids items sell. So that's where I've been. Um, if anyone else hit a wall in 2023, you're not alone. If you have a death pile, it's time we just deal with it. Stop shutting the door on the office and just deal with it. I know that from all of us, sourcing is the most fun part. Set a goal for yourself. Maybe, you know, if you sell five items, you can bring five new items in. Whatever it is, I feel that most people kind of respond well to reward systems like that. I mean, that's what we do for our kids, right? So for me, 500 bucks, um, it's a hefty goal. And you know, if I sell, you know, I sold a $140 pair of boots over the weekend on Saturday. Um, you know, if I sell five of those, that's only five items. Or if I'm selling $15 items to clear them out, it's going to take longer, but I am motivated. I still don't sound amazing, but I finally don't have a headache. I had a headache for three days in a row. I'm ready to tackle this. I'm ready to, I don't know that I'll ever be a reseller that says I have nothing to list. I need to go sourcing in a perfect world. I will go sourcing, come home, type in my inventory. And it, I would like to have no more than two of the big totes full of inventory at all times. That's what I'm working towards. We'll see if we can do it. I just got caught up in the YouTube game and just going to the bins, um, just finding so many treasures and it was exciting and, and the thrill of the hunt and it was cheap and people giving me things. A lot of my inventory that I have out there are just things people gave me and you know, so I'm rambling now. Thank you guys so much for waiting for me to make a return. If you're new here, I, please hit the subscribe button. Please give this video a thumbs up. Now that I haven't done any videos, I will be punished by YouTube and they will not want new people to see this video and that's just how it works. So I'm kind of starting over in a perfect world. I would like to grow and my subscribers this year and get my views up. And so we're working on it. So thank you guys so much for being here. And, uh, I will do my very best to get back to uploading on Mondays and Thursdays. That's my goal. 
So I will see you then. Bye guys.